Ask Reddit by Black Afghani Rose. What's a fact that sounds like a conspiracy theory? The Church of Scientology had members secretly infiltrate us government agencies in order to destroy unfavorable documents and investigations into them. Funny addendum. They were also spying on Matt Stone and Trey Parker to try and blackmail them into backing off in South Park. They couldn't find anything more embarrassing than what Parker and Stone would already openly admit to the press. Ernest Hemingway suffered from ongoing paranoia that the FBI was surveilling him, which was thought to be a key factor in his suicide. Most chalked it up to mental illness at the time. Decades later, his file was released, proving he was under investigation for his ties to Cuba, his phones were tapped, and he was right all along. Just because you're paranoid don't mean they're not after you. Tax service companies such as Intuit spend millions of dollars a year lobbying to make sure the IRS does not make it easier to file your taxes. Correct. It's actually quite common in many countries for the tax return people receive to already be pre-filled with the necessary data, because obviously the tax authorities know about them already. How do you think they catch you dart? All the taxpayer needs to do is review the information and make sure it's accurate, or add in anything that is missed. Since the majority of people have a straightforward return, single source of income and a fixed salary, the process literally takes a few minutes, costs them nothing, and that's it. JFK's brain was removed during autopsy and stored in an archive. Its current whereabouts are unknown. I've read about that. It does seem like a conspiracy theory. I believe Einstein had something similar happen to his. Diamond Company D Beer sits on an estimated 50 years worth of yearly carrots sold in jewel quality stones, purely to keep the market price high by creating artificial scarcity. Precious stones are, in fact, not so rare as to merit the high prices they command. They use diamonds in saw blades. They are not rare nor are they expensive. Everyone, even from Roman times, knew asbestos was bad for your health. Same with lead. There are no old lead miners. Old typesetters hands were crippled from lead poisoning. Hat makers used mercury hence mad as a hatter. There's a psychological reaction called the backfire effect which essentially means that people after they're given proof that what they think they know is absolutely wrong, will believe their misconception misinformation even more deeply. So my wife has done some research on sacred beliefs, ideas that are fundamental to people's sense of identity, and when attacked or shown to be wrong they tend to just double down on those ideas. The most effective way of getting someone to change their mind about those appears to be more of a Socratic method. Slowly lead them to the conclusion and let them really do the problem solving to prove themselves wrong. Deleted. Fascinating how the more mundane or even wholesome the code word is the more evil it is. See also Paperclip and Mockingbird. And X200B. Edit, OMG I love you all. I'm calling this post conversation operation kill all the kittens. My work here is done. There was one recorded homicide in New York City on the 11th of September, 2001. The people who died because of the attacks weren't considered part of the homicides for that day because a very high number like that is a statistical outlier that would throw off accurate record numbers. The one person who was murdered was the Polish immigrant named Henrik Siwiak, who was nowhere near the attacks. He was killed in the Bedford-Stuyvesant area of Brooklyn at around 11.40 p.m. So did other would-be murderers change their minds, or decide to wait a few days, or is one actually a pretty typical number? I'd expect it to be higher on average. Into stroke 3 of all us states, EMS is not considered an essential service. As such it receives next to zero gov funding or support. Also, EMS is administered nationally by the NHTSA. The firefighters and nurses unions continually lobby against bills to transfer oversight to HHS. The Pentagon has never been able to account for more than half its budget. 
This blows my mind every time I'm reminded of it. I worked at a small non-profit in the fear of failing and nodded was something we thought of every day. GM, Firestone and Standard Oil bought up, dismantled and sold abroad, urban train systems in the US post WW2. Cities replaced the trains with buses from GM, on Firestone tires fueled by gas from Standard Oil. The government protected us though. They were found guilty of having a monopoly and fined $5,000. The CIA funded and organized the overturn of several South and Central American socialist governments. They weren't necessarily even socialist. Just simply undesirable by the US government. Probably going to be buried but this one is actually kind of funny. Sometime after WW2. The US was doing some pretty wild experiments, including trying to see if they could teach dolphins to talk. They believed this was only achievable by full immersion, so they built a house and filled it with water and had a researcher live with the dolphin. The dolphin was a young male and wouldn't respond to anything unless the female researcher jacked it off. It became too obsessed with the researcher and I think when the higher ups found out what was going on, they shut it down and never tried again. Kind of paraphrased, but yeah. The government paid a fuckload of money just to end up having a lady whack off a dolphin. The dolphin ended up committing suicide. I'm not kidding. It really fucked him up. Lots of people in Pakistan knew where Bin Laden was hiding. And when the US demanded the Taliban turn over Bin Laden, they basically said, no way, if we go after him, he'll run to pack. And guess where we found him? Operation Northwoods, https colon slash slash en dot m dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash operation underscore Northwoods closed bracket the US government proposed having the CIA commit terrorist attacks in major us cities so we could blame them on Cuba and go to war. The proposals called for CIA operatives to both stage and commit acts of terrorism against American military and civilian targets, blaming them on the Cuban government, and using it to justify a war against Cuba. The possibilities detailed in the document included the remote control of civilian aircraft which would be secretly repainted as US Air Force plane, a fabricated shootdown of a US Air Force fighter aircraft off the coast of Cuba, the possible assassination of Cuban immigrants, sinking boats of Cuban refugees on the high seas, blowing up a US ship, and orchestrating terrorism in US cities. The proposals were rejected by President John F. Kennedy. I would like to believe JFK looked at the proposal and just had a you fug in what face on. Most sane people would have the most dumbfounded expression at the sheer horror of such a proposal and would hope for it was just a prank bro. The same company that single-handedly caused the opioid crisis is, still making money off of their drug but now also making money off of its antidote. The UK government secretly tested biological weapons on its own coastal towns to see how far they could make it inland. In the 60s and 70s, thousands of Native American women were sterilized without their consent as part of a practice to sterilize poor and minority women to help their financial situation and their family's quality of life by preventing unwanted pregnancies in poor communities. Some were not informed at all and had it done to them completely without their knowledge, others were threatened with having their health care taken away if they did not agree to have it done to them. Some studies estimate that as many as 25-50% of Native American women were sterilized in the 1970s, representing tens of thousands of victims. This is essentially a modern-day genocide in the United States. Not only Native Americans, but up until the 1930s, they did it to women in psychiatric hospitals and sanitariums too. Epstein was found dead in his cell at the Metropolitan Correctional Center, MCC, in New York City on the 10th of August, 2019. On the 9th of August, 2019, Epstein's cellmate was transferred out, but no one took his place. The two guards who were assigned to check his jail unit that night fell asleep and did not check on him for about three hours. 
to cameras in front of Epstein's cell also malfunctioned that night. I can't believe I forgot about Epstein and how many high-profile politicians and celebrities visited his island. It's barely even a story anymore. The sugar industry paid nutrition researchers to blame fats for health problems that were often correlated to sugar consumption. From this we have all the nonsense about good fats bad fats etc. Blame bad fat. However, some fats are specifically bad for you. If the older data had something wrong with it, it was that they didn't know what caused heart disease. The trans fats ban led to a specific shift in rate of heart disease for instance. Covid has made studies much harder, but the date pre-Covid had a quite clear kink in the heart attack rates after trans fats bans. Deleted. The Pentagon has an insane number of bathrooms because as they were building it, the segregation of bathrooms ended. The Pentagon was the only building in Virginia where segregation laws were not enforced. In fact, even though the bathrooms were built to comply with Virginia's segregation laws, they were never marked as colored or white. FDR had banned segregation in the federal government a year before the Pentagon was finished. In fact, just before the dedication of the Pentagon, FDR ordered that all segregated areas be integrated. Also, Segregation in Virginia ended in 1965. That the Volvo XC90 has had zero fatal crashes in the 21 years they've been on the road. Yes. I survived an airborne triple rollover accident with nothing but bruises in an XC90. I wish they were more affordable it would be all I'd ever drive for the rest of my life cause I owe my life to that car. The airbags are super soft. That corporations openly bribe politicians to get what they want. They call it lobbying to get away with it. How big tobacco companies denied the health risks of smoking, despite internal knowledge of the dangers. Petrochemical companies. Government surveillance. Whistleblower Edward Snowden revealed in 2013 that the U.S. National Security Agency, NSA, was conducting mass surveillance on citizens, collecting data from internet communications, phone calls, and other sources. It really is incredible how prior to Snowden you'd be treated as a tinfoil-wearing crazy person for believing there was widespread, massive government surveillance. And then the revelations came out and basically nothing happened. GM, IBM, and Ford played a major role in rearming Germany in the 1930s. George Bush's grandfather Senator Prescott Bush was a director and shareholder of companies that profited from their involvement with the financial backers of the German forces. So many companies and people were down with the Nazi cause. Looking at you, Bayer and Channel. The time it takes the moon to orbit the earth is approximately the same as it takes it to rotate around its axis which results in always the same side of the moon being visible to earth. We never see the dark side of the moon. 100% fact but I'm guessing the flat earthers are loving it. Edit, added quotes around dark. We never see the far side of the moon. That morgues are hesitant to hire men because of the things they've historically done to the corpses. I've been in this thread for over an hour and this was the first one to make me react out loud. Ugh. The retro reflectors placed on the moon by the Apollo astronauts. I was quite taken with the fake moon landings conspiracy for a while, until Sir Patrick Moore longtime presenter of a BBC TV astronomy show dismissed the conspiracy theories in a single line by pointing out that astronomers, both amateur and professional, have been using these retro reflectors to calibrate their telescopes ever since 1969 when they were placed on the lunar surface by the Apollo astronauts. 15 out of the 19 hijackers on 9 stroke 11 were Saudis. The US authorities shut down a lot of evidence to the families affected, the court cases are ongoing. Here's a fun ad on the FBI was monitoring hijackers and knew they were taking flying lessons in America but weren't interested in learning how to land. The CIA knew they had visited training camps in Afghanistan. 
Condoleezza Rice and GWB were briefed that a terrorist organization intended to attack the WTC using airplanes in summer 2001. I Ike. All of these things were known, including the locations of many of the hijackers. And nobody did anything. MK Ultra. The whole thing down to the name sounds like it was made up. Also, everything Nestle have done. The CIA made a weapon known as the heart attack gun for assassination purposes. It was a pistol that quietly launched a small dart containing a shellfish toxin that causes heart attacks. There's a famous photo of Senator Frank Church showing off the gun during a congressional investigation into the CIA. The McDonald's PR machine tried to ruin Stella Lee Beck's life. That coffee was so hot it melted her clothing to her genitals. People still believe she was at fault. I turn it around and ask how they'd feel if a parent accidentally spilled coffee on their child that was so hot it melted the child's clothes to her his body. Somehow it usually wakes people up. It's insane how many people hear the TLDR short and amp, tame version of this story, and offend billion dollar companies. I don't recall where I heard this but I believe the amount she was suing for was the amount of coffee McDonald's sells in one day. CIA sold weapons to Iran to finance far-right rebel terror group in Nicaragua. Almost all glasses frames are made by the same three major companies which is why they cost so much for frame that are essentially just molded plastic. Top glasses company Luxortica, now Essila Luxortica. Essila was number two but they merged, owns most top brands such as Ray-Ban, Oakley, Persil, Oliver Peoples, Vogue Eyewear. Arnett, Costa del March, and Alan McLee. I remember reading the downfall of Oakley. They didn't want to pay a Luxortica, so Luxortica owning all the stores like Lens Crafters, Sunglass Hut, Pearl Vision, Target Optical, and Glasses.com, blacklisted Oakley from their stores causing them to go bankrupt in 96. Quite the monopoly. Oil. Rubber, and car companies influenced government agencies to pull funding from public transit and focus more on policies favoring the use of private vehicles. That's why public transit is poor in so many places in the US that had far more robust transit systems in the first half of the 20th century. White flight and redlining also contributed to this, drastically increasing the size of unwalkable suburban areas and languishing cities. They also bought and destroyed private street car transit companies. A poor black woman's, Henrietta Lacks, cells were harvested from her dead body without her consent in 1951 by a doctor who worked for Johns Hopkins. The cells were proven to be incredible and a scientific marvel, and have been used ever since to further medical science. Her family and descendants were never asked for consent to do this, weren't informed of the breakthroughs have continued to live in cripplingly poverty since, despite how often the HeLa cells are used and the mass amount of money Johns Hopkins makes, and still to this day are fighting Johns Hopkins to admit their mistakes and make them financially whole for their desecration of a Henrietta Lacks body. They were taken from her live body. The cells weren't dead. The quinoa craze in America had devastating effects on Bolivia. Bolivian farmers switched to growing quinoa to export to the US because it was much more profitable than other staple foods. As a result, along with various other factors, Bolivia has really poor food security for its own people. Gotta be honest, this is mostly the Bolivian government's fault. There's a reason the US subsidizes important staple crops that wouldn't be very profitable otherwise. Deleted. Sorry but I think you're mixing up Sanford Dole, the usurper who became president of Hawaii, and James Dole, the man who founded the fruit company. James and Sanford were cousins. James only moved to Hawaii, in 1899, after the coup, which happened in 1893. Volkswagen inserted code in the software of all of its diesel cars which altered the engine's behavior when the software detected that the car was being tested by the authorities, and would reduce its gas emissions accordingly. 
The idea of a carbon footprint was propaganda created by BP in order to deflect their responsibility in the climate crisis, for which they hired the same ad companies that had convinced people that tobacco didn't cause cancer decades earlier. The United States government did everything they could, legal and illegal, to wipe out the Black Panther Party, and other organizations, including but not limited to, assassinating leaders, wrongfully imprisoning members and leaders, entrapment, creating laws to disarm them, etc. And it doesn't end there, in the 80s they dropped a bomb on a group called Move, oh yeah, https colon slash slash, en, dot m, dot wikipedia, dot org slash wiki slash 1985 underscore move underscore bombing close bracket and of course cointelpro https colon slash slash en dot m dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash cointelpro close bracket which supposedly ended in 71 but we all know that they just changed the name the call it the patriot act now additional source for additional gov oversteps and civil liberties https colon slash slash library dot law dot howard dot edu slash civil rights history slash bpp big bird and walter cronshite were both considered to be a part of the challenger expedition the one that blew up took me a minute to work out what this means to say it a different way they there were initial conversations about them being on the shuttle but it never materialized Considered to be a part of almost makes it sound like people think they had something to do with the mission or explosion. The US systematically destabilized many countries in South America. Not just South America, alas. The business plot https colon slash slash en dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash business underscore plot closed bracket was a real conspiracy in which wealthy businessmen were plotting to create a fascist veterans organization and use it in a coup d'etat to overthrow roosevelt one of the individuals probably involved was prescott bush father of u.s president george h w bush and grandfather of president george w bush humans used to visit the moon then we just stopped it turned out to be too costly to mine and ship cheese back from there. That PR and advertising firms are actively engaging in psychological warfare to push certain viewpoints and values in both implicit and explicit ways. If you control a person's thoughts, emotions and reactions then you can begin to control their behavior in almost any sphere of life. A cartel run out of Switzerland got all the top light bulb manufacturers to limit bulb life to 1000 hours so that they could sell more. Phoebus cartel, https colon slash slash en dot m dot wikipedia dot org slash wiki slash Phoebus underscore cartel close bracket. They reduced the lifespan by making the filament hotter, which produces a brighter, whiter light. Which is what people wanted anyway. So, yes, it was a conspiracy, but kind of a pointless one. People were fine with replacing cheap bulbs more often if it meant better lighting in their homes. Which is why 1000 hours became the de facto standard even after the cartel was exposed. Only when halogen bulbs were developed was there a bump in life expectancy for the same quality of light, 